Susie King Taylor by Amy Thomas. Susie King Taylor was born in Georgia under slave law in 1848. She was an enslaved person to the Grest family, but was allowed to move to her grandmother's house to be raised at the age of seven along with her brother. Under her grandmother's persistence, did she attend secret schools to receive her education that led to her many life achievements. Taylor lived in the time period before, during, and after the Civil War. And with the Civil War came the discussion of slavery. Slavery was the main labor force on the large commercial plantations in the South, as opposed to the more industrial North. During this time period, it was illegal for an enslaved person to be educated, and many were seen as property and treated extremely cruelly. Even though it was illegal for an enslaved person to be educated, Taylor's grandmother risked everything so that she could have a decent education. Taylor attended a secret school run by a freed woman and then continued her education with two young white people. She founded a number of schools in order to educate other freed peoples, starting when she was fleeing the war and was picked out immediately by the army officers for her educational advantages to organize a school in their new home. Susie King Taylor is mostly known for being the first black army nurse, but she was much more than history gives her credit. She was the first black person to teach openly in a school for former slaves in Georgia. She was also an author. She was the first and only black woman to publish a memoir of her wartime experiences. She is proof that freedom is universal and cannot be hindered by anyone.